We want to turn now to the midterms as we are just five weeks away from Election Day. One state we are following very closely is Arizona, which could help decide control of the United States Senate. A new CBS News battleground tracker poll shows the races for Senate and governor are competitive. Democrat Mark Kelly now has an edge in the Senate race. CBS's Ed O'Keefe reports from Tempe. For anyone arguing that democracy is under threat, Arizona is ground zero. Here, three top Republicans running for office openly repeat the unfounded claims the 2020 election was stolen. Mark Fincham is most vocal about it. We have more questions than we have answers, and that's why I call it irregularities instead of fraud. He's running for Secretary of State, a job that would put him in charge of elections ahead of the 2024 presidential campaign. His Democratic opponent, Adrian Fontes, worries about what could happen if Fincham wins and Donald Trump runs again for president. He may not certify an election that Donald Trump doesn't win in 2024 as well. Is there any reason to think Mark Fincham would do something to not certify results if Donald Trump doesn't win Arizona? It's not about Donald Trump winning or losing. It's about were their votes cast outside of the law? Did the counties follow election process and the law? If they did, let the chips fall where they may. But if they didn't, and somebody has an objection, that's why we have a legislature, and that's why we have the courts. By a four to one ratio, Arizona Republicans prefer officials who say President Biden didn't win in 2020 to those who say he did. Another issue on voters' minds, abortion, after a judge here reinstated a 19th century law that ends virtually all abortion access. Just leave women's bodies alone. As a man, we have no right, no, like we should just shut up. Our CBS News poll finds most Arizona voters think abortion should be legal. Longtime Republican Heather Carter publicly left the GOP to back Democrats who support abortion rights. When you talk to women in Arizona and they share their personal stories one on one, many of them are using this issue as the deciding factor in the 2022 election. As we mentioned, close races here for governor and U.S. Senate. Democrats are leading big with voters concerned about abortion rights, while Republicans are gaining traction with voters concerned about immigration in this border state. Nora? Ed O'Keefe, thank you.